What's going on guys, Sick Kane here, back with another Dragon Ball The Breakers video. Uh, in today's video, uh, we got another one from The Vault, dude. I don't know what's wrong with me, I don't know what I was doing in November slash December, or when the anniversary just started. I recorded a bunch of videos, and for some reason, I didn't upload them, or I didn't post them. So this one was kind of just sitting on the back burner for a really long time. I think there's ever a time where I could kind of like, need a break and upload an older video. Uh, definitely be this one uh i think what's interesting about this one is for people that really want raider q back uh please take a look at the q time counter for this because i think it went up to like 100 minutes or something crazy like that i do think if raider q is going to work it is uh going to need cross play if it doesn't work with cross play it might just be ggs forever unfortunately hopefully it doesn't uh you know become the case but anyways, uh, this was a match that I had where I was playing as Broly. This was prior to uh, the balance adjustments for Broly, so keep that in mind. So the game is very different now, uh, based on the super transfers, Broly's key blasts, etc. So uh, this is like my first high-level Broly game, because I went up against a bunch of high-level survivors. I don't know why I didn't upload this. I feel like this is a very interesting match, but this is what I gave out commentary for, where I wasn't... <coughs> I wasn't uh, sick with the flu, so um, just spitting up bodily fluids. Uh, don't, don't, don't ignore me, dude. Anyways, enjoy the footage, guys, and uh, in enjoy the video, man, uh, and, and stay healthy. God damn it. What's going on, guys? They're again here, back on Dribble the Breakers, season four slash first anniversary video. And this video, um, I got a Broly game, and uh, this is after the emergency maintenance that they did. And uh, clearly it was not enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip ahead. But this is how long it took me to get my Raider game. Because I just wanted to show you guys like what it actually is. Uh, and why I was doing custom games the first day. Like, it, this, this was ridiculous. So that means 99 minutes, by the way, is for that. So that's an hour and a half, basically. Um, I'm trying to find out when I actually got into the game. Okay, I think I got into the game at that point. See, I think it was 101 minutes is when I actually found that 8th person. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's absolutely insane, guys. Um, I don't know what they need to do. Uh, I know some people are like, they need to get rid of Raider Q, uh, go back to the old system, or get rid of Flex Q and just keep Raider Q. I don't really care which side of the fence you sit on. I don't really care either. I just want the game to work, right? Like, I, I really just want the game to work. And if it's something where they have to get rid of something, put it back later for the game to work, I am fine with that. I just want the game to work. All right, uh, I'm going to close this and open up because that line above my head is kind of bothering me. So this time around, I actually went up against a high level group of survivors. I think the lowest level here was 47. The person on the way on the left is like 100 something. And we have 124, <clears throat> 201, 200, 197, uh, 202. So I'm like, ooh, this could be a juicy game because I haven't really gone up against like a pre-made outside of the custom matches that I've done. And I kind of like asked the guys to hold back just so I could like learn how to play Broly, right? So this is like the first match I kind of felt more confident in my uh, Broly abilities, right? So let's not uh, go too, too, too far ahead. So this is the OG map. This is my first time playing on Highland River for Broly. Ironically, I actually haven't played on the new map yet, um, either as a survivor or as Raider. So I would like to do that eventually. So far, I've only done it um, with Customs or with Nano. So I would like to actually <clears throat> do uh, the new map with Broly, like in a real match. But uh, I really, this is me taking my own advice and not going for civilians like I typically do. I go for the opposite side of the map and go for civs. So since I spawn in B, the opposite end of the map where um, survivors are going to be spawning would either be E or A. Or um, A or D, is what I meant to say. So I found this guy. Um, thankfully, he didn't have IT. And he didn't have a dragon change either. He popped barrier. Actually, he was... Uh, yeah, I used the. Oh, I tried to pull him and it didn't work. I tried to pull him and it didn't work. I actually sniped him here. Yeah, I think the spread on uh, Broly's default key blast are actually really good. Um, he has alternate fire as well. And it's like the the balls he tosses out. But I like the little spear ones. I mean, ball spear, same thing. But you know what I mean. Just smaller, faster. Like me. Anyways. Uh, so I saw somebody over here as well. Chase this guy down. And I feel like this is how you really want to play Broly. Like, you just be super, super aggressive in the beginning of the match. So I'm chasing this guy down. They grapple away. They pop rocket. 
Uh, we'll find out later that uh, the pull that Broly does is actually a counter to Rocket as well. Any like mobile skill, you can use that. Unfortunately, I do miss the snipe. Broly's snipe is okay. It's not insane. So I use this to catch up to him just in case he does IT. I do not. And they transform here. I think it's the same person I was chasing. Catch this guy. Catch him again. And now I'm slowly gaining evolution power. Because I uh, dealt a lot of damage. It's my first time seeing a Lemo as well, which is pretty funny. Because I haven't really seen uh, too, too many Lemos. I've seen a couple Chilis. No Satans, obviously. Um, so that's like myself. And uh, at this point, I'm just trying to see if I can find any buffs. Because uh, that guy I downed got res. So I'm thinking there's got to be somebody in the area kind of lurking about. So I start looking around. And I feel like I'm doing pretty good progress. I find somebody here, do the snipe, hit him, they transform. And uh, I don't have my charge yet, unfortunately, so I'm, I'm canceling my flight. Listen, you're repeatedly doing that, and it kind of like gives you some speed. So if you want to cancel your flight, you hit R3. Just basically push in uh, the right stick, it will go a little faster. So this player catches me here, I use Bowie's Break Strike, so now my uh, damage and my key blast are going to be buffed. They do get the Super Transfer. But uh, unlucky for them, I think I do Evolve. Um, pretty soon. I think they're stuck as like the level two is what happens. I feel like that's what happens here. Yeah. If I'm running correctly. Get this guy here as well. Using the alt fire. Yeah, unfortunately nobody revived the lemo, and I guess I kinda understand. The fight kinda was just brought to where that guy was, or where he got uh executed by me, so unfortunately no one could go for the res. So I take this guy out, grab my level 3, and now the super transfer is basically cuffed, right? Such a tragedy. So I feel like if you can put the players in a situation where they get the lower level of the super transfer and you're the higher level, you basically kind of, um, you know, cuff them, pretty much. Because now um, the level 2 can't clash with me, and they won't be as good um, in terms of, like, stalling me. So you just place yourself in a pretty good advantage by doing that. I kind of unintentionally did that, to be fair. And at this point, I'm like, oh, yeah, the, there's an event going on. So I start opening up some crates for my medals. Uh, another player dies. At this point, I'm actually just looking for crates because I uh, want to try to still participate in the event as much as I can. It's funny enough, uh, Raiders actually jump higher in the water as well. I thought that was just a survivor thing. But yeah, if you want to, like, walk around... If you just hold R3 and allow yourself to fall, you'll walk, uh, be able to walk around. So now there's four players left. I kind of got to be careful because I don't want the ETM to spawn. So you'll see me kind of like uh, holding back a little bit. And I heard um, the Super Transfer flying around. I'm like, are they really just in this cave? And they were. <laughs> they absolutely were. So I beat the break swap in this Vegeta. Do about a quarter's worth of damage. Then with the active skill to charge. And then I figured, you know what? Let me just pop this before I forget. And uh, these players do dodge it. I think I got like a hit marker. Maybe it was just destroying some buildings, but um, all of them pretty much dodge it. And that, that ability really isn't that difficult to dodge. If you guys just like spam the circle button or the dodge button, or just use any active skill that like makes you mobile, you'll be able to dodge it easily enough. Just don't stand still when that goes off or you will get hit. So at this point, I'm just trying to see if I can find any more crates and I'm destroying these soda machines just because, uh, you know, these are high-level players, and if I mess around, they could potentially overpower me because there's literally uh, a super transfer that spawns at every level, right? So this guy pops a smoke, and I feel like smoke is actually not that bad uh, just because uh, it negates lock-on, and raiders are actually faster when they're locked on to you. So here I charge this guy. I'm like, wait, let me not because I don't want the ETM to spawn. They get the super transfer, and uh, props to this player. This player was putting in work. They actually like made it very difficult. So the reason why I popped the break strike early is because I want the uh, damage and key blast buff. So I figured might as well pop it early, but maybe it was a mistake. Uh, but since I had two break strikes, with one of them being uh, Broly's barrier, I wasn't as afraid. But I was kind of regretting my decision a little bit. I don't know if that was a good play. I don't know if that was a good play, but it kind of just worked out for me because I was able to pick off um, the non-super transfers. We kind of have a vanish battle here a little bit and then we clash fortunately nobody was really helping this uh this level three out or does it transfer out 
So here was another awkward situation where like I felt like I should have missed the super. I guess it's just the AoE at the end of it. That's what got him. But they do a pretty good, uh, decent job of fighting me here. Like they continuously dodge my key blast. So you don't want to spam the dodge button because if you do, you'll do like a slide midair. You want to like time it just right so you're able to like kind of do like an instant like banish, like an after image type of thing. Because that gives you the iframe. So eventually, if you see somebody kind of like spamming the vanish, what you want to try to do is just go up close to them and just wait for their animation to finish and then you just catch them with a melee. This person went kind of crazy. They uh, popped their level 2 transformation and they used the uh, Central Unleashed, whatever the skill was called. I lost this person for a sec. So here, this is crazy. So I used uh, Broly's pull and it actually countered the rocket. That's kind of insane. I did not know that was a thing that you could do, but I tried it out. And I pulled them in, it canceled the rocket, and now they basically have no escape options. So they're kind of like stuck fighting me. Uh, somehow I lose them. <laughs> I don't know how I lost them, but somehow I did. Kind of blind for that. I see somebody working on the SDM, and now the SDM is out. I don't have to care about uh, killing any uh, survivors here. I can just go for it. Catch this guy. He actually uh, vanishes out of my melee. Catch him here. And I'm very, very close to getting my level 4 at this point. So uh, I, I see that I have this um, super attack up. I figure I just pop it just in case I catch anyone. And again, these guys are uh, veteran players and uh, they know better. So they're like either spamming dodge or just like, you know, in a safe space to not get hit by that move. So at this point, I just get the super time machine to 75% uh, destruction. The reason why I do that, uh, you guys don't know if you're newer players, uh, if you don't work on the super time machine in terms of destroying it, you'll have to work from zero. And the reason why I get the 75 is because if I come back to it, it'll be at 75%. Giving me like more, um, you know, leg room to kind of just like mess around and take out more survivors here. Uh, luckily I find a sieve, but um, I'm feeling the lack of uh, that sieve passive because if I would have had that upgrade, I think even once I would have leveled up. So that kind of sucked, but... Uh, I'm level 15 now, so once I get like in the 20s, I'll start being able to upgrade uh, the city passive. So here I do the charge, and it just uh, was out of range. I think this person's trying to loot me with the vehicle, the dinosaur, which is pretty funny. It was working for like a couple seconds there. So I hit him with literally one key blast, and I get my level 4 because I was so close. And uh, here... Um, I think I, yeah, I get this guy off the STM. And, uh, I actually don't go for air destruction immediately, and the only reason why I don't is because, uh, you know, there is the potential that these guys work on the STM, and I get distracted, or, like, I tunnel vision, and they get me. So I figured, let me just kill one more player, and that'll make it just, like, that much more difficult for them to, like, make a comeback here. This person did a good job of stalling. They popped the Senzu, wasted my time, uh, used after image to kind of stall me out. So, I mean, that was good on their part. Like, they really didn't have any options, so they might as well just waste my time. So, at this point, you guys gotta give me some props, bro. I better see some subs and some likes for this, bro. Watch this play. Watch this play. Major look. <laughs> I take out Gogeta, bro. I actually took out Gogeta like that. So, I this, this AoE, like, laser comes out so quick and so fast, it's actually very difficult to dodge. So, if you see someone transform, like a super transfer, you can clip them with it. You can really clip them with it. Just make them think you're not aiming for them, keep spinning it around, and then at the last second, go for them. And it'll really throw them off. It's thrown me off. It's definitely scared me. So, I just clip the super transfer, and then once I take them out, I'm like, oh, okay, that's GG's. <laughs> that's GG's. So, now I, um... I think I just get this guy off the STM. Yeah, I just take him out. Figure I just waste this last guy's transformation. So this guy did do the smart thing of popping the smoke when unfortunately I did clip him on the uh, melee before he could get away. Take out his transformation. And at this point, I'm like, let me just do air destruction. Let me just do air destruction. So I take out E. And I think I actually kill a player because uh, this guy probably used all of his evasive active skills and he had no other op. Like, bro, look how fast that was.
What are you gonna do if you don't have grapple? What are you gonna do if you don't have rocket and Broly pops air destruction like that and you're deep in the air? You're just going to die, unfortunately. I think that's a really cool mechanic that Broly has that not only does he have multiple air destructions at his level four, it's just so fast. It's so fast. It's typically you're like, as a veteran player, you're not, never really worried about air destruction. And uh, speaking of it, I accidentally killed this guy. <laughs> I was planning on uh, destroying the STM and limiting the ETM places, but again, the air destruction was so fast, I guess this player didn't have enough time to actually leave the area, and they got killed. So, it was not my intention to kill this player. I did not even know they were in A, but uh, I killed them. I mean, I'm just curious. Let's count. I'm kind of curious how long it takes for Bullets to destroy an area. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi. Eight seconds. You have eight, around eight seconds to leave the area when Broly's doing air destruction at level four. That is pretty insane. That is pretty insane. So I get the complete victory here. I mean, you get more points, I believe, you destroy the super time machine, then kill all the players. Just keep that in mind if you're really trying to get the most uh, XP that you can. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get too, too many sibs here, so I did, uh, get a bronze medal, surprisingly, but that was just for the sibs, right? So if you guys want to see my medals, uh, that's it. So power up, I got diamond, battle results, I got diamond, survivors, I got diamond, just, uh, survivors and distance traveled, man. I don't know what it is about distance travel, but, uh, it's always cucking me. I did get the yellow skin, so I will be showcasing the yellow skin, um, in the next, uh, Broly Raider video. But if you guys enjoyed these Raider showcases, uh, you know, let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll, I'll try to show off the skins as I gradually get them. Hopefully, it becomes easier to get these Raider games. I don't have to wait uh, an hour and a half to uh, get my Raider games all the time, but, you know, I I'll do my best for you guys. Uh, you know, I'll subscribe for more uh, Raider showcases, Survivor showcases, uh, live streams, uh, collaborations, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, have fun. Peace out.